That sucks. Yeah, I was way too far. I mean, too, too near, too close to it. Flesh. Bone. I guess I'll see my social media in the meantime. You know, these days I've been having a lot of fun replying to spam emails. It's, it's rather funny, you know, just trying to make scammers believe that you actually believe them. Sometimes they'll feel really desperate. Because they really think you're gonna you're gonna fall in the thing. Almost. I could not see beyond. So my pious one, my previous run was essentially perfect. No, not perfect, but it was a nice goal, legit goal. <clears throat> the Elia one, it was good, but it wasn't perfect. Like I can still goal that by like two more seconds, I guess, or maybe more than that, probably more than. And from there, I can go, I think, every single chapter. Like, my splits are extremely unoptimized. Just because I, I have practice way more than doing actual runs. I usually practice a lot. Oh my god, so many suits. This fight is kind of bad. Maybe not that bad. <laughs> like four minutes by pressing the button, it's kind of okay. I got this, so yeah, whatever. What? I'll take it. But that wasn't a goal. That how is that a goal? Maybe I say time on Alex. Whatever. I cannot say what was the true beginning, nor am I. Maybe I didn't save the other goal. No, I did it. I it's, it's saved. 
Whatever. Three normal attacks. And four in the body. Or technically four in the head. But just one is gonna land on the head and the other ones will land on the body. I know that DIS go for something a little bit more complicated, which is doing those same attacks, but actually hitting on the arms, I think something very technical and hard to do to do fast because you can still do it but it takes more time uh, like you can you can run to the left or right side to set up for uh, an arm hit I, I find it rather slow or about the same time than not doing that sneak a little bit here Just to get the perfect timing for those blades. We're full stamina after this cutscene. Should be enough. Let's see. It was enough. And yeah, you recover your stamina after this cutscene, but not immediately. Uh, I think you have to wait a little bit. So technically, it's not that bad. To, to have a little bit of stamina left after that cutscene because it's still gonna be useful Oh, nice. Didn't get body blocked. So I'm doing some extra sneak just by looking at the previous attempt. Super close to get body blocked there. A little bit more, and I should be alright with this. That 
that's good enough. So yeah, I sneak a little bit too much, I think. Otherwise I wouldn't bowl. From my research, it is apparent that the endeavor <sighs> I need to be more couches when I'm spamming start. I usually end up doing that. I, I mean, uh, doing an extra start and getting out of the room. Out of the boss menu. Oh my god, what is oh, it? What happened? This is devil's work. We should get out of here. We should get out of here. You have proven what we have feared the most. I'm slowly getting better turnarounds. Don't mess up the fight. <laughs> Talking about mess up the fight. That was so bad. <laughs> so yeah, to do the fast skill, you don't have to deal the, the, um, the head. You gotta go for the arms first. Crazy that that monk couldn't defend himself having that giant sword. I mean, I get it. Swords are kind of dangerous if you don't know how to use them, but if you see a fucking zombie, you just use what you have. to do a chest attack there but 
control stick is quite sensitive. Fuck you. So yeah, this is another average Anthony. Sometimes work. You all by the left side of that passage. Uh, if you get it like a ni nice pawn on the first zombie, you can. You don't need to kill it. Alright, we, we made it. Just one trick left. Or quick kill. I hope I get it. I lost a lot of time here. Whatever. <laughs> I guess my TV is that bad. I can save 30 seconds here from my best split, which is actually not the best I can do, so I can probably save even more. I'll say up to 40, even. Not this way. Okay, not 40 anymore. Yes. <sighs> Dreams. Modern psychology of I say this a lot of times, but I'm gonna say it again. I think this one and Michael are the best or not the best but the most entertaining episodes to play. Oh Peter is also great.
bad turnaround. Awful. I think that means one extra signing loss. I'm not entirely sure. I hope it doesn't. And I figure on this part, it's better to just run immediately. Because even while the trappers move, they won't activate themselves immediately. And it's better to, like, you still want them to activate as soon as possible. Because that way they will stop moving and it will actually, actually be easier for you to avoid them. So it, it, it looks riskier to run immediately, but it's actually safer. That's good. Okay, Trapper. Excuse me? Oh, you fucker. You fogger. That was an illusion. Like, imagine that zombie right aside from the trapper. That would have fucked me so much. Run that time. Just attack in the chest and they die instantly. Then finish three of them. Use one talisman. And stay here between the two pillars. That's bad. around here. So wait for this other one to come here. So I can use another talisman. Not like I really need it. Equip from down. And get this fucker. Just body attacks on these ones. Because he's kind of faster than head attacks. At least for me. So you finish it, you, you finish the, the last bone teeth and then run to the exit. And as soon as you touch the end the exit, you can cast the enchant. And that's the perfect timing to get the, the cutscene and the enchant uh, at the same time. It's actually very easy to get that trick. That is a, um, a setup that I learned from Wintelon. It really helps, because otherwise you will have to figure out another way to 
get some visual cue or time cue to get it done. But that one is just for me. this goes. I can still save this by having a, a good or fight. Excuse me? Why you didn't die instantly? That sucks. Alright, another Bacterine, as usual. Or, bad Karim and the rest of Karim was okay. But I could have called that. Karim. No. I almost want to reset, but I shouldn't. I'm not supposed to get that. Ever in the run. So now I need to remember to don't do any cast cancels in all the chapters, which is gonna mess with my routing. Hope I can remember that. Okay, Max. I will not argue that I was shocked by the sudden the mention. mention of one of my ancestors. Maximilian Roida is Mr. Slow. Do you know that Roida's the last name of the the main family portrayed on this game is Savior backwards. Now you know. So we can safely say that they are the saviors of humanity. But just because of their actions. I used to get that spell when I was exiting this room, but now I do it before, because sometimes the lady gets mad at you and gives you a lot of trouble and you can't really 
fuck you. You can't really make the spell at the exit if that happens. So I miss one bullet. Kinda sucks. That means I have just one. I think I, I'm gonna be a magical attack that sucks so much. We'll see, we'll see. Because I don't remember exactly the bullet count. I feel like I should have one. But I can't fail another shot. We need a uh, three level recovery. Lady, please don't punch me in the face. What do you mean? Of course I can use it. This is one of the items that repositions your carter. You use it from, let's say, one side. It will always uh, change you to the, the other. Well, not the other, but I mean, it has a fixed side. Reload. Okay, this time we're gonna get it. Fuck. I almost get it. That one is basically the, the easiest um, barrier spell that you can do. Because you can quote unquote buffer with your start. Because you have you gotta do it manually anyways. But I hadn't that in any run till I, I still hadn't. Just in practice. So I don't need cast cancel. So my I did get the dresser key, right? Yeah, I got it. So the idea is to th there was a. a a sanity effect on the last episode which is the the one that says to you that there's a, a sequel to this game coming and all that but you can get rid of that sanity effect and skip it every single the episode influence was incredible because the thing is the, the cutscene don't start if you cast a spell Uh, 
guess I fail. Guess I'm bad. Fail again because I'm bad. And again because I'm fucking bad. I suck at this game. Jesus fucking Christ. Open your fucking links. Nice reload. Wait, this sucks. This super sucks. <laughs> My goodness. It's funny because this is the the episode that I practice the most. This is the hardest, but I'm just failing stupid stuff. I'll say even with that, I can still go on that on this episode. Shoot gold actually because it's, it's one of the episodes where I can save time. Oh, yeah, so you can cancel that cutscene by doing a spell in the room before the cutscene starts. So, we on, on the first on, on after Karim chapter, we do enchant item and from there on we do cast cancels which is basically doing a magical attack or actually any spell but I do magical attack because it's later in the game it's gonna be the the one that takes the least magic on my assigned spells so you do that and you cancel it that means you wait for the first rune to appear and then you start running or moving or whatever to cancel the thing. And that little thing is actually enough to get the, can the cutscene cancelled. And it sucks. Sometimes that zombie don't want to uh, die immediately. This is a very early cutscene. It's not normal to see that in that place. I wonder if I'm gonna get it again later. Because that happens sometimes. Sometimes you get it twice and it sucks. Please one shot. Thank you. You get a better chance on one shot in that if you do it like if you wait a little bit for the zombie to wake up. Like a little extra bit. You can freely lose two shields there, it's fine. 
that zombie's gonna get rid of your last shield and then you wanna try to... Oh, okay. Yeah, I get it. So, side effect, nothing to do about this. This can't be happening. See, I was wondering why I failed the spell bottom. The bottom spell, whatever spell on the cutscene. That's a time loss that is outside of my control. Pick up those. Here, activate the traps on the sides, not on the middle. That's gonna save you. Two more Mantorok zombies, so we're gonna be pretty okay on Sinity. I'm not very good on stamina though, that's why I'm taking my time there. And here's where you normally see the, the cutscene. I might receive side damage, yeah. That sucks. That sucks even more. So that I just hope I don't run into a an effect on one of the huge rooms. Like I'm upside down. Oh fuck me. Okay, this one is not that bad. I'd rather take this one than the upside down room. That takes forever. Where's the zombie? Oh, there you are. Yeah, that, that extra shield is way more use useful than you think. It can actually save me from an upside down room. See now. Nice. Oh no. Oh no. Almost. So I tried to input a pause right before that barrier. So I can make my spells there, and now I'm big. Um, I wonder if I can get this on this side effect. I'm getting a lot of them. Okay, that's pretty good. That wasn't very good. So yeah, pools remain after signing Evex. Please. Okay. This was such an awful Lindsay. I can't believe it. And a lot of it wasn't my fault. That's the worst part. Look at this. Just side effects. And some dumb mistakes, but. 
very small mistakes. Whoa. One minute inside the Epix. So yeah, the the, um, the cutscene skip on on the next game, whatever, saves about four seconds if you do it properly. If you don't do it properly, you can even lose time. In Europe, during the time of the Inquisition. Door closing. Indeed. So here we are on the most backtracky of the chapters. Go to the same places over and over. Well, I guess you can you can say the same stuff about Edward and Alex. Technically. Too soon. So this is an art cutscene that gives you your stamina back. Coming pretty handy. Because we do run a lot with Paul. Actually, gonna get a pool here as soon as I get tired. But in case. Now, the basement. Kitty is here. How are you doing there? Getting very good turnarounds and pickups. Now this pause, it with the maze, and then open the thing. Okay, 
Anthony, you start a battle with a shield, red shield in particular. We assign that at the end of Lindsay's chapter. Hopefully you have at least one shield left. Then cast a pool while waiting for the second phase. And then kill it. And that's like the perfect position to get a quick kill. Because you got other cancels on the on the wall. So now this one shield that we have, it's just enough to kill the horror. So we don't need to cast another shield later. I'm gonna take the other way. Also this pool is gonna last. I think until after the horror fight or right before the horror fight. Which is handy for stamina. And we didn't lose any second by casting that. So enchanted. That's to kill uh, two trappers that are in this room. Definitely don't want to fight them or run into them, rather. So, you see, we only need one shield because the only thing you're gonna get hit here is the electricity. That's because the aura always howls before you get near it. So that's give, that gives you enough time to get behind it. It's just fine. You see, I'm actually killing some of these zombies. This is totally on purpose. Because I don't want to get body blocked in my way back. And I need to go... On, on some places, I, I need to go even twice. So it's kind of handy to don't get body blocked. some brain there to recover all your sanity this prevents you from having any sanity effects on this chapter oh you fire but yeah now I can just run straight on all these rooms on my way back I think I left one here but it doesn't have a head, so it's actually fine, yeah. It's the little one. And if you want to hit them, it's better than you do it on your first travel there. Because you have the enchanted blade. That means you can kill them. On one shot on the chest. Just like Anthony used to do it. Anthony can get without enchant because he's stronger.
yeah, some characters are just stronger, even with the same weapons. It's either that or the weapons are not actually the same. Like, maybe they, are, they were programmed in a way that they are not the same. Like, I, I would love to see Karim with the assault rifle of Michael to see if he does an insane amount of damage or not. Brother Andrew suspected Augustine all along. Or pretty much any character, any other character with using the rundown would be cool too. Now we go to the right. I might get tired in my way because of my late pool. Now we're fine. That was just enough. hesitate a little bit at the beginning it was good enough you know I, I've never been caught by those trappers but I've been caught by other trappers that are definitely easier than those So you see no body block here. The body block here on your third time, it's kind of big. It's very annoying. Yeah, just stab a statue on the chest. Here, press B and then move the stick in all directions. That will get rid of that message immediately. It's super weird, but it works. And I don't actually know if it works on any other examination. I've tried on several, but that's the only one I've discovered. So you, you don't actually have to read the message there, only cancel the examination, and you can do that with the control stick after the, the, the first B press. It's pretty cool. Alright, look at that, 40 seconds just from better playing, better gameplay in general.
Hidden City. Starring Roberto Bianchi. Much has been written about the exploits of conquerors. So there's one big difference. It's not that big, but let's say crucial difference more than big on Roberto's chapter, which is casting a fight pool right after getting the tome. That saves me with stamina. Helps me with stamina. But it makes the chapter more risky. Because we need to avoid some trappers instead of killing them. I run on stamina here, that sucks. Yeah, that stamina loss was because of the body block of the blue zombie. I'm pretty sure about that. Oh, and I actually got a heresy before an hour. That's my first heresy before an hour. That's amazing. Zombies, are you fucking kidding me? Oh, this sucks so much. Oh no. I hate my life. That was so much bad luck, dude. I got fucked up by those zombies. Still, the trappers weren't in the best position, it's true, but it was mostly because of the zombies. But yeah, I'm ready to lose time on this chapter. So ready for it. Also, an early sign to lose here. We might have some extra effects. As you can see, uh, we still have enough magic here to cast this spell, even while I cast a uh, magical attack. The only reason for that is because it took me a long, a long time to get rid of those trappers. So normally what happens is... Please explode, thank you. So normally what happens is, in the other road, you don't do the pool, but you do a, um, you cast a magical attack on the trappers. But then you run out of stamina. In this road, you can cast a magical attack, because you won't have enough magic for the zombie. If you, let's say, get a, a quick run through the trappers. But if your run is slow, you actually can cast the pool. I mean, sorry, the attack. It's just unoptimal.
is gone. Oh, I just remember this can't be happening. that in my PvE I got trapped on this episode. That means I'm in very good shape actually. I mean, even if I lose some time, I should be okay. In regards to the PvE. I keep forgetting to equip the torch. You should equip the torch in when you summon the, the zombie. That's the most optimal menuing because you can equip the torch and then switch immediately to your spells survey yeah just just punch it punch the survey am I gonna be tired yes I should have casted the pool before running to electricity I forget about that because on Manturok Road, I think I need to cast it after and just sneak a little bit. Really, that was very unfair. All right, so. I got bad trappers, that means I already killed them, so I don't need to do a magical attack now, just go straight. Oh. I always have trouble with that ladder. I find it pretty hard to hit it. And Roberto is Now I have to inspect the frame. No other, uh, other cancel needed. We need more flesh and bone. The war to end all wars, we defined how mankind.
this is one of the changes on my road or I would say it's the same road but with different strats just doing a pull there to optimize stamina it does come come handy nice punch This way I don't have to manage stamina anywhere in this chapter actually. I think it saves time. I'm almost sure it saves time. Turn around. Here we go. I've seen better, but it was good. So not having to manage stamina actually helps a little bit here dealing with this bone teeth. Oh, we didn't got the bone teeth. That that's so amazing actually. <laughs> it's always better. So we cool. So the thing is, at some point in this run, I need to cast a 3 recovery. To get rid of a sanity effect. Uh, and and I, I need to do that in order to then do a 7 recovery with Michael. So what I normally do is I do that 3 recovery in Michael chapter. 
but I think we can do it earlier if we get if we do it in inside a sanity effect. Like hell, we can even maybe get rid of the sanity effect with that. I don't like my HP here. shield is actually enough for this battle but five is way safer I be late. Do you feel like my magic increasing off there? I guess I don't have a lot of faith right now. We'll see though. Should be okay. Please be okay. Yes! Fuck you. Now, give me one cycle. Six, good. Seven, nice. Eight, that's it. That was perfect. Absolutely perfect. Guardian fucking dies. Yes. Now that's a sum of best. <laughs> Amazing. Just don't give me side effects with Alex, please. Help me, please help me. Uh, we're gonna be okay. I can't get the blood out. All right. I need to be prepared. Hey. Like, in case I see a sanity effect with Alex, I should do a sell as a whole. That's actually very useful. Some sanity effects you can't even sneak a 7 level sell as a whole. I guess doing a 5, 5 pool is more safe. But yeah, just do a pull. Even a three pull is useful to recover some anxiety on later Alex parts. You are not free to leave this plane. Till you do a task for me. have to kill the master of this house. AKA 
Edward Savior. I'm gonna say I'm getting a little bit hungry. I usually get hungry on stream. <laughs> hungry, sleepy, tired, everything. Well, that took a while. Yeah, punch. Punch the book. <laughs> Fucking amazing. This time, again, I forgot to do the shield before the enchant item. Because it's, it says one menu. But whatever, it's no big deal. So now we're gonna assign an Ulyoth pool. And we're gonna cast it immediately. It seems that everyone is doing fine. You know, Edward is just shooting invisible things in 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 the hole. It, it's fine, you know. I mean, who cares? So get her shield. You don't actually need a seven shield, but you have infinite time here, so. Doesn't matter too much. So, in any time, vampire is gonna be here. And now we wait. We wait a lot. How much we wait? You might ask. Uh, it's about 35 seconds. But there's a better queue, actually. So you don't have to count. Just wait until your reveal invisible goes away. And when that happens, it casts another reveal invisible. And immediately after that, you do a, a shelter of pool. It's very tight though. It's almost risky. What's this one? How many seconds away? I don't know. 
Okay, that was pretty pretty good actually. That is a little bit risky because if you didn't if you don't finish the spell before the cutscene, the cutscene actually cancels the spell. And it sucks. You're just fucked up. Without a pool. And you actually end up using that magic. This is what I call the 2.5 Edward pool route, which is, basically means we're, just, we're, we're gonna use 2.5 pools on end guy instead of I think the normal route route use three or even four depending on the situation. But it's three on end guy, and that means. You're wasting extra time. Okay, so the first one is number seven. And I number these portals from So the the number one is the one that is on the on the left. There's one on the left, and then you circle uh, clockwise. Is it clockwise? Yeah, I can do clockwise. To number the others. That's how I number them. You don't have to agree with that, but if you want to understand what I'm talking about, I'm talking about that. And say hello to the only Mantrox zombie on this city. Now say goodbye, because it's gone. Alright, the good thing about this road is that it saves time, as far as I can tell. Not a lot, but it, it does save some time from casting an extra bull. But it's a little bit tight on timing after the second pull. Yeah, after casting the second pull, the timing is, is very tight. And yeah, the order matters a lot on this road. Otherwise, it just doesn't work, and you're gonna run out of stamina at some point. So, for instance, here we don't have a pool. So it's very important to do this, this part, because you won't run out of stamina on this part. You get all your stamina after this cutscene, and then on the main area, you're pretty close to the teleporters. That's actually the closest one to this control area. I need number six. You also recover a little bit of stamina on portals. Just because your character walks a little bit 
instead of running. So here, you run a little bit, then you cast this. And I use that to recover a little bit more stamina, even. So I can delay the next pull as much as I can. Until Edward gets tired, she's gonna be around here. You can cast it at the end of that room. It's still better to cast it on this one. It's better than cast it on that one because it might be a little bit risky with the Guardian there. There's also a zombie on that room, and it can cancel your spell if it sees you, so you definitely want to cast it at the end of the other room. Okay, there's a trapper here. It should be okay. So there I used the new exploit I found. I don't know if it was known already, but I haven't seen it on recorded runs. Like, my bet is that people already know, but they just didn't have a run record with that. Which is, you can basically match, or not exactly match, but close to match, like, press X with a certain rhythm. Uh, X is the button for a snake. And if you do that, uh, the trappers uh, don't, won't hear you, actually. And you still retain decent speed. It's faster than walking. And by the way, if you walk, uh, you're gonna get in trouble, because trappers can't hear you when you walk. They can't hear you only when you don't move, or when you sneak. Pretty good. There might be another one here. Oh, but it's kind of far away. So it's, it's fine. Next one is number one, and the pool is gonna be over on this one, and it should be over in such a way that I'm still able to reach the the power room before another pool. You see, I still have pool. It ended a little bit early, so I'm gonna sneak just a little bit here. We can do about half of number four without a pool. So all this part. Then after the cutscene we recover all the stamina. But all that stamina that we have 
now, it's still not enough to reach the end, like the power room, so at the end here we're gonna cast the next one. Which is actually the last one, if I'm correct. Yeah, it's the last one of the chapter. Number eight. Something interesting about this road is that the horror in the main room lasts forever. It's kind of crazy how much it lasts. Oh, I didn't activate it, really? No. Almost. I'm glad that wasn't the last one. Stop your tail, thank you. Yeah, I don't like that decision for the Guardian because it can cast another shield and mess my, my movement later. That's the end. That's gonna be the end of Edwards. And now with this pool we have just enough time to leave the runes. Runes. There's a risky trapper on this room. We'll see how it goes. Guys, there, it's kind of far away. That's nice. Like, if you want, you can go for a magical attack on this room. It's way safer. Yeah, that sucks. So that movement usually never happens. It's very weird that you get the trouble right in that position. For those cases, it would have been better to use a magical attack in the beginning. But I usually take the risk and don't use it. Because it really doesn't happen very often. Now my pool is gonna be... Yeah, I might run out of steam here. Okay, Edward, you can do it. You can do it. Yeah, he barely make it. And that was thanks to the last rubber. <laughs> so you see, this, this road is actually faster, but it's riskier. If you get fucked up by some enemies, um, that can happen. I missed the, the split. <laughs> but 
But yeah, if I if I ended PDing on this run, I'm gonna get that split later. It's, it's fine. Okay, so no side effects. Yeah, pretty good. to examine that thing twice. And by the way, you lose your your Gladius after using the pickaxe. I mean, it gets unequipped. because I normally fail that <laughs> even while it's not that hard at all but I tend to fail that hard wherever disaster and death lurk there is like all right there's one change in this chapter I need to be aware of it to do a 3 recovery before I do the 7 recovery on the trapper room okay decent trapper let's see the next one uh, this one I didn't really like it an old job pool as usual that's just normal fuck you so much fuck you Those stupid zombies, dude. They fuck everything. Yeah, those are fake zombies. As intended. Totally intended. We do that to get rid of that side effect. You can do that everywhere, actually. Um, as soon as you have low sanity and uh, just get rid of that and that way you won't have it later and it's important to do it before this room so we can do this just relax
And by the way, this sanity recover is not actually to summon this trapper. I mean, it helps, but you can summon the trapper still without it. Super close. Alright, that's fine. We still need to wait for the magic, so... You have your uh, plenty of time there. So again, you, you can cast a trouble without sanity actually. Um, you just have to wait a little bit to get attacked or, or to, to get sucked by one of the zombies. This is taking a lot of time. It sucks. But the thing about that uh, side recover and the real use for that is to get less side effects and less damage from the zombies. Damage from the zombies is actually substantial. If you don't recover sanity, uh, you're gonna get to low health at the end of the level. It sucks. I just cancel the sound of that. I don't know exactly how that works. I think you have to. I, what I normally do is I match B at the beginning of that cutscene. And that replaces the destroy this with that bomb sound effect. It's very weird. But it just works. Sometimes, not always. things about Michael is his stamina. It's just fucking broken. He has a lot of stamina. So I should be good on health. I'm kind of worried about the, the horrors. Like I, I might get short. Let's we'll see. Hopefully not. I think I'm gonna be damaged. Alright. That doesn't happen very often. It usually happens when, like, one of the Reapers sees you an extra time that you didn't count with. So you, you see, that wasn't a goal for, for instance, even while it was a very good Michael chapter. Okay, can we get the zombie skip? Yes, nice. The other? No. The one is fine, at least. Now grab this bullshit please, thank you, on last run I actually missed this and I lose a lot of time because of that.
run towards the door to get the baggage. First important part. Second important part. First important part is getting the mantra of sense. And here on the basement. Actually not yet. Yeah, just not yet. I need to get a side recover. So you see, none of these recoveries are getting me, are giving me side effects. That's because I have got to get get rid of that one. So here we are. Now I'm gonna show off the Alex Pool Less Road. We're gonna see how good it is. Means I have four shields left. I don't really have three here. Well, it actually doesn't matter too much at the beginning, I think. I don't totally remember how much it matters. That First one is number eight. So, in this road, there's no pools on this chapter. Everything is measured and roaded in such a way that you will always have enough stamina to run. Just at the end of the chapter, you're gonna need either a three pool, uh, but it's not a seven pool, of course, so it's still kind of fine, or a three recovery. And here we gotta go right twice to select our attack. And you can go either right or left twice. Just something twice. Because there are four rooms there. So it's, it's symmetric. There's a there's a bunch of trappers here, and I'm gonna play safe, absolutely safe. And you see, 
Alex was tired, actually, here. I'm not gonna risk it. There you go. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Wonderful Atex. They got rid of one of the first trappers. So remember, all my spells are rotated in such a way that they help me recover in stamina. So I basically optimize the stamina to don't cast pools. And I also optimize the shields so I, I don't have to cast a lot of them. Yeah, and I figure on this one I always get caught. Like pretty much always. I'll say like 80% of the time. So I figure I'm gonna start doing attacks on that one. It's for me it's really not worth it to try to cheese those. Like you can at the beginning you can still try to recognize good positions for them. There's certain positions that are easier to get. But I'll say in general it's just not worth it. And yeah, I kind of run out of stamina there. It can happen. But I'm gonna recover the stamina after this cutscene. this side and we cast the attack at the end of the room again for the stamina Here we already killed the trappers. And here we got our next shield. And you can see we don't have a lot of magic. But we're gonna recover that, don't worry. Because we need to sneak a little bit on the next one. It's number four. Trapper here. He wanted to fuck me. But it didn't succeed. So here we're gonna do a little bit of the exploit of pressing X in a certain rhythm. See this thing is just not activated even while we are technically running in between. Okay, let's see if these shields are enough. Yes. Okay, now number five. And we need to cast a pool right here. And after this room, another shield. Okay. 
So we leave the last two ones that need the Odial pool for the end. So yeah, I, I said that this was a pool list, Alex, right? Uh, but I was talking about Shaturga pool, of course. Oh, number three. We still need the Uyoth pool. Because it's, it's just way too strong for this part. There's just way too much magic used on this one. See, I move a little bit there. Just a little bit. It doesn't make a big difference, but sometimes you get the zombie even, even closer to the world. Yo, hello, how are you doing? It's nice to see you. So then the horror. And the cool thing about this position is that the horror doesn't need to talk to talk to walk into the portal because Alex is on the portal. That means um, the animation of the horror walking to the portal it got got cancelled. We have enough shield for this one. So now, finally, number nine. You missed the whole stream? But it's fine. You still have a bunch of time. Like, I'm, I'm right at the end, it's true, but we still have a couple more rooms and the last boss, so you don't miss everything. <laughs> So the last room has a lot of RNG. It's the binding room. We need to cast one or two Celtad binds. Hopefully just one. But I can't do anything about it. This is the only pool we do on this chapter. And it doesn't lose any time, technically. It was a little bit risky to cast the pool there, actually. <laughs> because I didn't know if I would have enough magic for this part to cast the shields. But whatever, I just took the risk. I normally cast the pool like here or at the end of the previous room. We're gonna take a little bit of damage here. But it's fine with the pool. No save. So we have good health for the last battle. Well, let's see how it goes. I just want a nice pious fight. That's all you want. Just 
no dumb mistakes or ridiculous RNG. Everything you can ask for for a speedrun. Okay, so. That is. Okay, this fucker casted a spell that's not the best. Attack me, thank you. So I always wanted to receive that attack on the cutscene. So it doesn't actually deal damage. Oh, this is looking pretty good. I got all the possible skips on the Apex. It's going incredible. Wait, where is it? I thought it was there. <laughs> Fuck my life. Where is it? What? Okay, I'm confused. That was weird. Whatever, I'll take it. <laughs> Where you at? Okay, I'll take your damage. It's fine. Can take a, a lot of hits, actually. Still. Okay, where you at? We can do uh, a hit right after this one. Here. Oh my god. Nice keep. Can't believe it. This is going magnificent. Okay, Paul. Just don't get caught. Nice. Just Roberto. Be a nice guy, Roberto. Nice spell. Where is he? It's fucking good. Extra hit, but it's fine. And we're gonna get ah, that's the ticket. fucking war record by how much? Is that like two minutes? No fucking way. Wait a minute. I, I didn't expect that at all. It is finally over. My it's dear. finally over, my dear. The ancients' plans are finished. For now, at least. Uh, you must be proud to be an incredibly courageous young woman. Your mother and father would have been proud of you, just as I am. I'm sorry it had to be like this. It's not quite the inheritance I had in mind for you, but there was so little time, so and so much, much to do. do. Goodbye, Alex. I will miss you. Where emptiness had been, new knowledge now seeped inside. Something happened then. I realized that I was not the only one, that there were many others like me, in other places, other universes, fighting the same fight, all to 
serve the needs of the great ancient and to have my world spared from eternal darkness. It is. Thank you for the congrats, Aurora. It is more than two minutes. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> and so it comes to pass. Of the three ancients, there is nothing. nothing. Mighty Chaturga has obliterated the insanity of Zenotarth. The madness of Zenotarth has overcome the power of Ulyalth. The boundless Ulyalth has decimated the power of Chaturga. All at once, separate and simultaneous. Great. For the universe is made of many time streams, many possibilities. All in harmonious synchronicity. Only Mantarok remains. Slowly, slowly dying. dying. Mantarok, keeper, overseer, warden of ancients, chaos. An entity trapped between the veils of reality and the enchanted stakes that impale its flesh. Unable to rally its guardians, it could rely only on its subtle manipulations Whoa. of the royalist family to destroy its enemies. Knowing the nature of the ancients, it used its pawns. I, I'm very happy, each other, <laughs> by the way. Resulting in their mutual. Annihilation. Now it will languish forever, festering in its tomb, plotting, plotting. All right, let's review the splits. Um, yeah, fucking save. So Pius was just pretty good um elia was was fine it could be still a little bit better because i run into one trap i think uh, anthony wasn't the best i miss like two tricks the or quick fight at something else then kareem for split um it was okay it was actually pretty good until the end where i got damage and i got low health after the horror, that means you have to run a little bit more. Then Max, that was just. Let, let me let me remember. No, actually, I think Max. I wasted one bullet, so I can go for even more in Max. Then my worst split is Lindsay Journey into Darkness. I lose like a minute. A minute something. I lose a lot of time there. Like a minute 20 maybe. Just because I got like 3 extra sanity effects. It was very insane actually. <laughs> then... Paul Heresy was very good. Roberto... I... What happened in Roberto? Now Roberto was fine, I think. Peter was amazing. I got first cycle on the Guardian, and everything else was perfect, I didn't get body blocked by the Bone Teeth, it was just very good. Edward was good, but I don't have the split, because I, I forgot to split there. I'm gonna see the split, see my, my PB later. Um, but I think it, it was pretty good. I should have a gold there, because I, I have the new rope. Then Michael... I missed something like oh I, I I missed something on Roberto. I missed the uh, I got bad luck in the Travers. So I lose I lose time there. I can still go that. Michael was alright. I know what I could have done better on Michael actually. But it was fine, it was just pretty good. And then fucking Alex. So this minute and a half, my my war record, my war record, my PV, my previous PV of this got a pretty nice Alex with a very nice fight actually. The only thing I fucked up there, I think, was the 
summon part. I think I lose some time there. But that's not a minute and a half. That is like maybe 30 seconds at most. Then I probably save about 10 seconds on Pi's fight, and then the other 50 seconds are, well, maybe 40 seconds are from the new road, I think. Just not doing any pool. Like but the new road I made for that chapter, pool less. I hope it's that. <laughs> Because that means my roading really pay off. I'm kind of impressed of how much time I saved from that one. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm I'm just too excited and happy to do a victory lap. I'm just gonna run to eat something because I'm quite hungry. So that's gonna be. It. Um, I'm gonna upload this later. And yeah, this this should mean new world record for this game. The uh, last record lasted like three years, I think. It's been a while since. And and the second place is super close. Like, I think the second place definitely deserved to get the, the world record at some point. Because he, he was so so close to the first place. But anyway. Thank you for watching. <laughs>